boy, these Flash modded iPods sure can take a beating. Like, you can just stop watching the video now. Flash is more reliable. One of the most common things that kills these things are the drives. But I want to see it for myself. I want to see a brutal challenge befall a standard iPod, leaving this guy victorious. The $5 Flash Pod from the previous episode, and like, my actual iPod at the moment. I've adopted this guy. It has my playlist in it, 128 gigs, and I upgrade it to an iFlash converter as well. I've essentially moved into this thing. I love this iPod. It, it hasn't let me down. This my boy. But the comparison and the sacrifice to the internet gods is this matching and totally original 20 gigabyte fourth gen. Still got the old Dungus drive in it, all rubber mounted as you can see. No tears please, as it's actually pretty scuffed up and the play pause button is busted. I have many of these. I wanted a test to have both iPods go through the same trauma, like drop testing is neat, but I'm too lazy to set up a rig. So I just turned them into sadistic key rings, put a rope through them, found a private straight road, tied them to my motorcycle while shuffling music and dragged them up and down for a little while. Well, I'm back from the ride and it's awful news. It's not good. I mean, it's what you expect, wouldn't it? This is really violent. We're gonna start with the flash pod here. This is the iPod that I was so confident that it was just gonna get through. I mean, it was gonna get messed up. It's being dragged along the road. Like, it's gonna get messed up, right? But I was so confident in this one that I was just gonna pick it up, laugh at the damage, and it would still be working, and I'd just keep using it. Just cause it'd be funny. Like, fine. I mean, this is the $5 iPod from the last video. And then the, and then the worst happened, really, which is, the whole reason why I did this was so that the case could remain shut and tight so it wouldn't blow up it blew apart <laughs> oh no snap the, the headphone cable straight out like the the socket bits completely gone look at this that's snapped out of its post the USB connector is buried you you can't actually put anything in there the foam totally saved all this business although that took a hit Right there, that's all bent out of shape. I've no idea what's happened to the rest of it. Um, it did have a battery in it. It was still connected, uh, but it was so kicked up and dented that as soon as I got home, I put that thing in a jar and just shut it. Like, uh -uh. I got proof that the battery was still in it, but it's like police evidence footage now because the scene is, is gruesome. This is my boy. This is my boy. This is the iPod I chose to use out of all the iPods I have. Oh, it's not safe for work. Oh, my boy! Look at his little guts everywhere! I'm like, huh, the noise behind me is different. Oh, no, <laughs> he's just, it was just this. That's all that was left. And I go back and, and there he was. You know, imagine me, he's my boy. I had to scoop him up like this and run back to the bike. But I, I this isn't even... I'm I'm intentionally hiding the front because because it's it's oh my boy <laughs> oh no I know it's gonna get messed up but it is messed up this is this is my boy damn it we're gonna we're gonna save my boy we have we have parts we have parts go oh. blue tech look. Huh? It held it in there. I need to save my boy. Oh no! Oh, it smashed the. No! Oh. We're in trouble. Oh, my boy! Ah! This is a test battery if, you, if you're not sure. Alright, we're gonna fix this. We got a spare. Oh, we got a spare. We got a spare cable. You guys don't even want to see the hard drive pod. This is the flash one. I was so confident that this one was just gonna breeze through this and be totally fine. It it is seriously like I think it's dead. I think we killed this thing. Oh no, my boy! Come on, my boy! Oh no! Oh no, that's not good. All right, we need a we need a test. This is a good one. Oh, 
Holy smokes. Look, look at that. It's been blowing the smithereens. Well, we're, we're laying to rest. The $5 flash mod iPod. What a, what a beautiful legacy. It, give me that battery. Give me that. That's mine. Oh, and of course, hang on. Give me that. That's that's still good. May may we may we lay to rest. My sweet boy. I got this iPod for five bucks. You you don't even want to see the other iPod. You know why? You know get that out of here. You know what get out of here. That's disgusting. Disgusting! You know why you don't want to see this other iPod? Cause it works fine. There is nothing wrong with it. Ah, uh, for the record, the pause button uh, didn't work before the test began. That is so violent. And it still works. But, did the eye flash survive? Did the cheap board survive? Is my boy still in there? Ah, oh, look, it's, it's mint. Someone's been in here. Strongest drive in the world. Invincible. Come on. Whoa, no. Yeah, it's missing the jumper. Hang on. We're down to this. This is all that's left of my boy. Yes! Yeah! My boy! Yeah, that's that's swinging. But the pause button doesn't work and it's never worked. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to rob my boy's cops. <laughs> ah, I refuse to read any any information. Give up your organs, boy! Wah! Ah. Got him! I've never done one of these before. You couldn't tell. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Hope this works. Ah! Oh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yes! <laughs> Woo! I've never put one of them on before. Wow. There you go. So, that broke. This broke. This broke. This was already broken. And this is the most amazing hard drive in the entire world.